guys, happy Saturday. It's Connor here, welcome back. Hope you're all having a great start to your weekend. It is time for another edition of the Weekly Wax Chat, which is where I share all of what I have been burning, melting, crocking, lamping, basically everything home fragrance for this week. So we're gonna discuss these candles that I've been burning, we'll chat. The wax melts I've had going, we'll discuss my crock, my lamp, we'll discuss all of the home fragrance things. So as you're watching, let me know down below in the comments what have you been using up in home fragrance, however you like to enjoy your home fragrance. Let me know down below in the description box. As always, I will link all of these products down below. So um, if you're looking for them check out the description box i'll put the websites i'll also leave any discount codes that i have with these companies i am an ambassador for kringle and hallmarks and so if you want to save a little bit of money there you can definitely do that um obviously the memorial day sales are starting up this weekend so if you're looking for some good sales definitely check out those websites um i know hallmarks is doing a really good deal i think theirs are two for 42 or three for 60. Um, you cannot stack the code on top. I did get clarification. What's happening is there is actually two different sales going on with Homeworks. There is the Memorial Day sale and then there's just like their regular clearance. But I don't think you can use the code on the Memorial Day one, but you can on the other. It's super confusing, you guys. I really wish that Homeworks would just um, always allow the code or never allow it. Like. I just feel like it makes it so confusing, but definitely always try the code, see if you can save some money. Uh, same with Kringle, they also have some Memorial Day sales going on right now. They have really good deals on some spring and summer three wicks. They have $2 wax melts I saw in there. Um, so try that out as well. You can always try the code. There's no harm in trying, but it may or may not work. Um, but I will leave those codes down below. They are affiliate codes, so only use them if you're comfortable. I make a small commission back from them, but they just go right into buying more things to review for here on my channel. Um, I have not placed any Memorial day orders yet and i honestly don't know if i am um i really need to be more like healthy with my money and my spending um i say that but i also do know i probably need to get some more summer candles um something about me is i burn a lot of what i have i'm not a person who's just going to like carry something into the next season if i have it i'm gonna burn it right now and so i know that i'm gonna want to enjoy summer fragrances until Probably the end of July, at least, and even in August, I'm gonna wanna be burning summer. I will get to a point where I'm gonna wanna transition to fall, but I kind of have to make a rule to myself that I will burn summer and at least June and July in like the first half of August, and then I can transition to fall, because I really try not to do it too early, even though the candle companies normally are starting fall on July 1st normally. So I have to kind of keep myself in check, and so I do definitely need to get some more summer candles to enjoy for those months so I may or may not place an order I think I'll probably get a lot of Bath and Body Works candles for this summer at their semi-annual sale I see myself doing a big haul because there are just so many summer candles that I've enjoyed from them um, so I definitely will get some there but then I do think I should probably place one order from Kringle and one from Homeworks just to get some of my summer favorites so that I will have stuff to burn this summer because I am not running low but I'm definitely just like I have the stuff that I need to review, but then after that, I need to have stuff to burn just for fun and for leisure. Um, sometimes as a reviewer, I can kind of forget like, yeah, you can burn a candle to enjoy it and you don't have to review it. Um, so that's kind of something that I struggle with, I guess, but you as viewers probably don't understand that as much. But anyways, that is my plan with the Memorial Day sales. But uh, let me know if you've done any shopping from the companies. But let's go ahead and get right into it. I am going to be doing my tour again today. So if you want to see what I currently have going in terms of what's burning and also in my crock, let's go ahead and get up and do that tour and see what is burning. All right. So the first thing I am burning right behind me here in the dining room, you may have seen it behind me when I was filming, is Citron and Sands from Threshold. Um, I got this one at Target. I'm really actually getting into more and more Target candles. Recently, you will actually see another candle that I'm burning is from Target. But um, I was very interested in this specific line from 
threshold. Um, I already tried one of them, which was the citrus and something. I can't remember what it was. I actually just put it in my empties bin because I finished it uh, last week. But um, this is my second one that I'm trying and I really like these candles. Um, this citrus in sands or sorry, citron in sands is a very like woodsy scent. Um, I kind of think it's funny that they say it's citrus because I don't really get a ton of citron or citrus really. What I mostly get from this one is like a very woodsy scent um, with maybe like a slight coconut base to it. Um, I'm actually just going to stick my nose over and smell it. Yeah, it's very musky, very woodsy, almost kind of to me reminiscent to like a cologne, I feel like, but I really like this scent. I think it's going to blend quite well with the other stuff that I'm planning on burning this week and also what I have going in my warmers. So very excited to continue burning this. It is also a wood wick candle, as you can see. Um, so it makes that really pretty crackling noise. But um, that is what I'm burning right here. Also, by the way, I do have this in my uh, Homeworks Hurricane. This was the Gold Hurricane. It's out of stock now and it's been discontinued, I believe. So you can't get this, but it was on QVC. It did actually come um, more of like a shiny gold, but I prefer this more like antique-ish um, royal gold, I guess, look. So I actually painted this one to fit our home decor a little bit more. So that's what it is burning in right now, but let's go ahead and see what else is burning. All right, the second candle I have burning is right here in our entryway. This one is currently burning in the uh, Hurricane. This is the Daphne Hurricane from Pottery Barn. Um, I'm a big fan of this one. I really love this hurricane. It is still available. I will link it down below if you're interested. I actually have a full on video all about this hurricane, so I'll also put that in the description. But um, I love this hurricane. It's probably my favorite that I have. Um, but I'm really enjoying this Hearth and Hand by Magnolia. So this is Chip and Joanna Gaines company. They obviously have like the decor and stuff from like the Fixer Upper show. But then they also have a lineup of candles. And I was really interested in this one. This is the Beach House scent. I thought that this would just be a really great summer candle to burn. I also just love the look of this candle. I love that little green top to it and it kind of goes with our home decor. So I was like, I'm going to get this one. I believe it was like $25 for this three wick one. And then they also had like a five wick one that was 50. I was very close to getting that, but then I thought I should probably just get the four wick one for now. And then if I really love it and get through it, then I'll go back and get the five wick one. But I love this scent, you guys. This is a wonderful, um, like, ocean-type scent. It's not necessarily coconut. I'm going to smell it. Yeah, it's not really coconut, I would say. It's mostly, like, a beachy, salty air-type scent with definitely, like, ocean notes. I think maybe a little bit of, like, a citrusy note in there. Um, and then definitely just, like, a slight woods as well. It is beautiful. If you want your house to smell like uh, like a fresh air beach scent, I think that this is the perfect one. I also just think I love it because it's called Beach House and one of my like goals in life is to have a beach house at some point. So I love this candle. Just lit it up for the first time. So we're gonna have to see how it does in terms of performance and strength and throw. And I've actually never had a candle from Hearth and Hand. So I'm kind of interested to see how the burn does but that is what I'm burning right here in the entryway and then I do have one more candle burning which I normally don't have three going but I really like this trio together so I will show you guys what else I'm burning. All right and the third and final candle burning right now this one is here in the family room this is nest coconut and palm so I recently just purchased this one when Nest had a 20% off coupon on their website. I had one and honestly, I've been eyeing this candle for quite a while. I really wanted to pick it up at some point this summer just to have it for my coconut candle collection. And so I went ahead and got it in splurge with that 20% uh, off. This is a three wick one here. So I do prefer the three wicks just because um, I think that they do a little bit better in terms of strength and throw. Um, I'm willing to spend a little bit more money than the one wick if I want to get a great strength and throw that really will fill up probably this entire half of the house with the nest candles. And so I went, out, I went with the uh, three wick ones. Um, 
I did just light it up for the first time, so I haven't had too much burn on it, but as you can see, it's doing really well. I didn't trim those wicks either. I try not to trim the wicks on the first burn for most candles that I have, no matter what brand. Um, but these wicks do look like they're a little bit big, so I'll definitely be trimming them after this burn. But this scent is so, so good. I can actually already smell it throwing at me just like five minutes after lighting this one up. It smells amazing. It is a really delicious white coconut scent. Um, it reminds me a lot of like coconut beach from Yankee and Waikiki beach from Bath and Body Works where it's like a uh, delicious white coconut, almost like an edible coconut sort of, not necessarily like a gourmand coconut scent, but definitely like more of like a sweet um, coconut scent, not necessarily though like the authentic coconut scents. But this one is wonderful. It also has some of those like um, salty air undertones too that kind of give it like a beach vibe. But I am loving this one. This is definitely going to be something that I will be burning throughout the summer, but I'm just so excited to get into this candle and I do want to do an in-depth review of this one. So be on the lookout for that coming at some point. All right, so this is my candle crock right down here. If you do not know what a candle crock is, maybe you're newer or maybe you just need a refresher, I will put a link for my candle crock 101 video down below in the description. That's gonna kind of just go over what a crock is, why do you need one, where can you find one, and basically all of the frequently asked questions I get about crocks. So check out that video for sure. But um, I do currently still have the same thing from last weekend in my crock, which is Bath & Body Works Citrus Grove. Now, to be completely honest, I really can't smell this one much anymore, so I'm actually going to be changing this out probably uh, after I film this video. I don't know what I'm going to put in here quite yet. Um, honestly, I normally just put whatever Bath & Body Works candle is struggling at the moment in the crock, because there normally is one, but honestly, neither of the Bath & Body Works candles that I'm burning this week are struggling. Um, they're a little bit messy, but they're not like to the point where I need to crock them. So I don't know what I'm going to put in here. Um, so I'll maybe have to look around in my collection and see if I have anything that I can just throw in here. But I did enjoy this one in the crock. It definitely lasted for like a week, but it's definitely dying out now. It's kind of just like a basic citrusy orange lemon grapefruit type scent. I did really like this one for the summer, but it just kind of sucked when it was burning. Um, it got really messy and the wicks got super puny and it kind of just was bad from the start. Um, it had a good throw, so that was good, but in terms of the burn, it was just really, really dirty. And so I did move it to the crock for that reason. But um, it served its time and now it is time to go to the empties bin, which by the way, I'm sharing my May empties next week, which is so, so crazy. I cannot believe that May is over, but yeah, this will definitely be in that video. So going to find something new to put in the crock and you will see it next weekend. All right, and we're back. Hope you guys enjoyed that little tour there. Now let's get into all of the stuff that I've been burning this week. So let's go ahead and start off with Bath & Body Works. I've been burning two Bath & Body Works candles this week, just like I discussed down there in the crock. But um, I've got Beach Weather and Bronzed Sunset. I did upload reviews of both of these. Neither of these are newer scents, but they are both newer to me. This is my first year trying them, and so I did upload reviews. So maybe if you've never tried them either, check out those reviews and maybe you'll be inspired to pick either of these up. Um, I love this bronze sunset so much. This is definitely something that I will be repurchasing when SAS comes. Um, I love this scent so much. I also love this packaging. I was a little bit skeptical at first, but I really like the look of this. And you can't really tell, but it's got a really cool texture to it as well. Um, kind of like a wallpaper almost, but I love the scent on this one. It is exotic coconut, island waves, and soft musk. And this is such a beautiful coconut, musky, amber sandalwood type scent. It's got a very creamy coconut note at the base. You've got amber, sandalwood, maybe a hint of like that driftwood note in here. Um, but I really love this one. It has been burning quite well for me. I will say I've gotten a little bit of messiness ever since I put my review up of this one. It got a little bit messy. So as you can see in there on the top, there's just a little bit of discoloration, but it's not like the worst I've ever seen from Bath & Body Works. Should I probably crock this? Probably, but 
I am loving burning this one so much that I don't want to have to crock it because it's doing really good. Um, the wicks have not done it out on me, which is amazing because I feel like most of the time they do by this point, but this one has done so good. And also probably the best part about this candle is the strength and throw. This one is a beast in terms of strength and throw. It is so, so strong. This one honestly probably single-handedly fills up this entire half of the house. So our house layout, we've got like the living room um, slash the family room and then the dining room and the kitchen. They're all combined and it's basically like the front half of the house. And this candle really does a good job at filling up the entire space. It is so good and strong and I'm loving this one. So I'm so glad that I picked this one up this year. It is definitely worth all of the hype that I heard about it last year. And um, yeah, this one is definitely coming home with me again. Bath and Body Works will probably be starting their SAS, I'm, I'm guessing in the next couple weeks. I feel like they normally start it in early June. And um, I'm hoping that they have a good candle sale because if they're like $10, and I have a coupon, this will definitely be coming home with me. Um, lots of it. Um, I'll probably get two of this. I'll probably get two of uh, the bronze. No, not this is the bronze sun. The two of the uh, Santorini Coast. That one I still need to burn, but I'm like, I definitely will need back of that, backups of that already. I know it. So there's a lot from Bath and Body Works. I'm like keeping a list of the things that I've loved. And then I know that I'm going to go back and get more. Okay, the other Bath and Body Works candle that I was burning this week is Beach Weather. This is another one that I had never tried before, but I was trying to give some things a new chance, and so I picked this one up. Now, to be honest, I did not love this one when I smelled it in stores. I kind of actually thought it kind of smelled weird, but as I burned this more, I really like this one. I think what it is that threw me off about this um, is the sand note. It has a very distinct sand note. I think it's gonna smell a little bit dirty to some people. It does almost have like a slight like gritty smell to it, which kind of is a little bit weird, but if you can get past that, it's actually a really pretty scent. It's very earthy. It's got um, also like a sunscreen hint to it. I feel like if you like those like sunscreeny type scents, you'll definitely like this one. Um, the notes are sun-dried sandalwood, island coconut, breezy palm trees, and crashing waves. This is really, really pretty. If you like a sandalwood, sand, beachy type scent meets a sunscreen, that's basically what this is. It is so good. This has also been burning flawlessly. Um, I've had no issues at all with this candle. No sootiness at all, no dirtiness. Those wicks are doing really good. I am trimming these because they are getting a little bit big as you can see, so I will definitely trim these before burning, but it also has a really great strength and throw, and it just does so well for me. So I'm, I'm actually really surprised by how much I like this one. I think I like it better when I burn it versus on cold. So just smelling it now, I do like it, but when it burns, it smells even better in my opinion. I feel like a lot of Bath & Body Works scents are like that, but I love this one. This is another one that I will be getting more of when SAS comes around just because of how well it burns. I try to keep a list of like the SAS candle or the Bath and Body Works candles that do really well in terms of burn because so many of them obviously don't do well. So the ones that do, I want to keep a list so that I can get more of that specific pour, I guess. But this one is so good. I'm glad I tried it. And if you want more in-depth details on either of these, check out those reviews. I posted them a little bit earlier this week. So that is the Bath and Body Works for this week. Um, let's discuss homeworks for this week. I was burning two homeworks candles this week, and I feel like these are all kind of in that same like sandalwood coconut vibe. Um, I try to go for very similar scents when I'm burning so that they kind of blend well together. And these two are definitely very similar and blend quite well. So we have St. Bart's, which is the Coastal Cabana fragrance. This one right here is from Harry's Postcards collection. Um, there are like three or four or more of these postcard candles, but this is the one that really kind of um, looked the most interesting to me. I will say my friend here on YouTube, Katie from Katie's Joyful Life, she did pick up the um, 
the not the Santorini one, but there was another one that she picked up. I think it was the Palm Beach one. It had a grape note in it, so that was kind of why I didn't pick it up. But she told me that that one is really good and the grape was like undetectable maybe or that it was a nicer grape. So I think when I place the Homeworks Memorial Day sale, I'm gonna pick that one up too. But I've really enjoyed the St. Bart's one. This one is really pretty. It's a very unique scent. Um, the notes on here are bergamot, sea salt, island vanilla, and sun bleach sandalwood. So this kind of has like that coconut vanilla base to it. You get the sandalwood for sure. It's also got that like salty air smell in here. And then I do pick up a little bit of bergamot in here, kind of just giving it like that freshness, but this is a really nice scent. I feel like this is a sweeter version of this. No, I'm sorry. This is the one that's more like sweet to me. And then this one is a little bit more musky in my opinion. But honestly, they're super similar. I feel like you probably don't need both of these. Um, the other one is the coconut birch. So if you already have this one, I don't feel like you're probably going to need St. Bart's because they're so similar. Not dupes. I'm not saying that they're dupes or repackages, but they're just super similar. The coconut birch notes are coconut water, birch leaf, amber creme, and white patchouli. And this one's really nice too. I think that this one is a little bit heavier on the musk because it has the patchouli in here. But I think that this is more heavy on the coconut as well, so it's slightly sweeter but it's still got that like amber sandalwood running throughout it. So they're very like beachy, musky, woodsy type scents with coconut in them. But I really like both. These are both very different than what I would normally pick up. So I'm glad that I tried them. I like the scents on both. Um, in terms of performance, they're both burning fine. There's no issues there. I'll show you the burns. Neither of them are getting messy or anything. This is the look of the uh, St. Bart's and then this is the coconut palm or sorry coconut birch um they're both doing good no issues there strength and throw they're kind of out about the same which is actually a pretty good strength and throw i'm getting like a solid seven i would say on these they're doing really good for me no issues there um this one is really good and strength and throw and so is this one i have been burning these in hurricanes as well but i don't really feel like they need a hurricane they do pretty well even without one so if you're looking for some like beachier coconut sandalwood type scents, I think you will be a big fan of this one. It's really good. I like both. So that is my thoughts on the two Homeworks candles. Um, I have also been burning a country candle. This is the Sand and Centile one. This is the last of the new spring summer scents that I've yet to review. So I thought I should probably go ahead and pull this one out now. I was kind of saving it for more like the summery months. So I feel like this will be perfect for Memorial Day. This is a very sunscreen scent. It honestly, to me, smells super similar to Yankee's Sun and Sand. If you're familiar with Yankee's Sun and Sand, I think you're gonna really like this one. Um, it's got that same like panatone. Is that what it is? I think that that is what the brand of this one smells like. It smells like sunscreen. If you like that scent, you're really gonna like this one. This smells so good. I've really enjoyed this one. I haven't burned a ton out of it, but I definitely started to get through some of it. Um, I still need to review it. I'm really hoping that this one does well in terms of the burn because with my other newer country candles for the spring, I did run into some issues. I felt like some did better than others. So I'm hoping that this one does good and that the wicks don't dud out or anything. Um, I will say they're a little bit smaller, I feel like, than they normally are, but I know that they did change the country candle wick so that they burn a little bit cleaner, but I think in doing so, they're maybe a little bit too skinny now, and they're kind of getting lost in the pool of wax, but I really love this scent. It smells so good. It's very similar to Sun and Sand, like I said, so I hope it does well. Um, so far, it's had a pretty good strength to throw. It's a little bit lighter than I was hoping, but it's still like a solid six, I would say, which is kind of right on par for Country Candle. But um, yeah, I definitely like this one. Review coming soon. Um, I was also burning a Yankee. I've been burning two Yankees, actually. The first one is the Bahamas Beach Bum. I have really worked on burning this one pretty good this week. As you can see, I am actually... Reaching that halfway point there, this scent, so, so amazing. You know, it's not the strength and throw. This candle is so, so light, which 
makes my heart break so much because I love the scent here. This is a wonderful scent. Honestly, probably Yankee's best summer scent that I've smelled maybe ever. It's so pretty. It's a gorgeous like coconut, sandalwood, amber, perfumey type scent. It's sophisticated. It to me honestly smells rich and I don't like to use those like trigger words, but that's honestly to me what it smells like. This smells like a fancy beach house or like a fancy rich beach resort or hotel. That's what it smells like to me. It's so, so good, but I can't smell it, you guys. Every time I burn this one, I have it lit for like hours at a time, three, four hours. I can't smell anything. I put it in a hurricane. It is so light. It's probably like a two, honestly. It does, it's so bad. So I think what I'm gonna have to do with this one is either one of two things. Burn it in a smaller area. So it's either gonna have to be a bedroom candle or a bathroom candle, which I wouldn't mind burning this in my bedroom. I do think that this actually makes a really pretty bedroom fragrance or bathroom. But I want my house to smell like this. That's where I'm gonna be in, in the majority of like my living time, I guess. I'm in my home, I'm in my family room, my kitchen. But this one just struggles so much. Um, the other thing that I may have to do is crock it. I do wonder if this was in the crock, would it do better in terms of strength and throw? If you have this one and you've also struggled with the strength and throw and you moved it to a candle crock, did it improve? If it improves, then I will put this in my crock to get more fragrance, but um, I just love the scent. It's so, so sad that this one is light. So my request to Yankee, keep this one around, but just reformulate it. Keep the same exact fragrance. Just add more oil, more strength and throw, whatever you have to do to make this actually smell. And I'm not even saying it needs to be a 10 out of 10, but if they could just make this like a five and a half or a six something like that just something better than a two please because it's so good or make this in a wax melt because even if this lasted only a day for me at least i'd smell it for a couple hours and that is what i want i love the scent is so good if you've not sm smelled this yet head into your local target i'm not going to necessarily say to buy it just because it is so light but I love the scent. I do still need to review it. In terms of that though, in other terms of that, it's been doing so good. No burn issues, no sootiness. It's been burning flawlessly. It just doesn't have strength and throw. So that's my request there. And then the last candle that I have is another Yankee. I actually just recently got this one at the Williamsburg outlet. Um, they still have an outlet and Yankee candle in a lot of different states, I feel like, but the one closest to me is Williamsburg, which is about 45 minutes drive from my house. Um, it's a pretty big outlet. It's actually like their flagship test store, I think. Um, they're supposed to be renovating it and putting like a candle bar in it and doing all of these fun things. It's gonna be kind of similar to like the original Williamsburg Yankee Candle flagship. Not the same though, because it's still just like an outlet store. But um, I found this Yankee Candles, A Calm and A Quiet Place, which I love this scent. This has always been a favorite for me for Yankee, but they've only offered it, offered it in the original paraffin country candle jar, which you guys know I don't burn paraffin anymore. So I never really had that. Well, I bought it before, but I didn't want to buy it again because I'm just over paraffin at this point. But I found it in the signature. I was so shocked to find this one in the signature. They only had it in this medium one, so I picked up this one. Oh, I love the scent. This is just like fresh, clean smell. It's very clean, kind of soapy, but I love this one. I've been burning it in my bedroom a couple times, and it is so, so good. So I was super excited to find this. And um, I really hope that Yankee will maybe bring this into all of the Yankee Candle stores. I'd love to see it in the regular lineup and not just like in the outlets. Um, I do think that this is like a European candle because if you look at the back of it, it's got that label there and it's got some other language right down here. So I think that this is probably made in another, in another country, but I still love it and I want them to bring it over here. So that is what I was burning in candles. Let's talk about wax melts for this week. Um, starting off with Better Homes and Gardens Salted Coconut and Mahogany. I did enjoy this one. This was a really nice scent, but my problem with it was it was so light. This one honestly faded after a couple hours, I feel like. So, so light. It really did not last. It's a great scent. It's like a creamy, sweet coconut with like a slight mahogany teakwood vibe. Kind of like Bath and Body Works, but not as intense. 
but I really do like this one. Um, Bath and Body Works actually has a mahogany coconut candle, so I feel like it's definitely quite similar to that one. I just need more longevity and performance out of this one. It just faded so quickly. So that is that one. Kind of a dud, although I would repurchase this just to have for a couple hours because I did really like the scent there. Um, Scentsy Camu Camu. You guys know I love Scentsy Camu Camu. This is one of my favorites from them. Um, it's like a passion fruit mango type scent. Always a favorite. So fruity and summery and good. I love Camu Camu. This one is always super strong and has a great longevity. So quite the opposite of this salted coconut mahogany. And then last but not least, Yankee's Coconut Beach. This is another one where I love the scent. It's like a sweet coconut scent. I love this one. It's definitely one of my favorites from Yankee during the summer, but super light. This one did not last forever. It's actually going right now and I really can't even smell it. I'm smelling the candles that I'm burning. I'm burning that one back there, but I cannot smell this wax melt. It faded very quickly, so very upset. I wish that this lasted longer because it's such a good like beachy coconut salty scent, but I can't smell it all. So Anyways, that is it for this week. We've had some positives and we've had some negatives, but that's life, I guess. So you can't have everything be perfect, but we definitely had some really good things from this week. So let me know down below in the comments, what have you guys been burning and melting? I would love to hear it. Let me know down below. Um, have a great Memorial Day weekend, everyone. I know Memorial Day is on Monday and we'll actually have our crumble video up on Monday. But um, if I don't see you until then, cause you're only home fragrance content, have a great Memorial Day. Um, thank you so much to everybody who has served for us. Um, you are amazing and thank you for all that you do. Let me know if you guys have any Memorial Day plans. We are going to be going to my grandparents' river house for the day. So very excited about that. But let me know if you guys have any fun plans for the weekend. Uh, let me know in the comments. But thanks so much for watching. Um, like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.